hey, we are outside of a Dollar Tree <laughs> right there. And in this video, we're gonna go over some new Dollar Tree products you can buy for $1 and sell online for a profit. You're not gonna make a million bucks doing this, but you might make enough money to make it easier over the next few months if you're unemployed, whatever it is. So let's get in there right now, and I'm gonna give you a few tips along the way while I show you what products you can buy and sell on Amazon, on eBay, wherever you wanna go, and make some cash along the way. A few quick things before we get started. So my state, Michigan, we have a 6% tax on stuff like this. It may differ in your state, so I will be excluding that. Just keep in mind, you gotta pay sales tax on this stuff if you don't have a, a resale license, but that's more intermediate, advanced stuff, not beginner stuff, so we're gonna pass on that. Two, shipping. All of these items are gonna weigh under a pound, meaning they qualify for first class shipping, meaning the cost will be between $3 and $6. If it's under uh, four ounces, $3. If it's under 12 ounces, about four and a half dollars. And if it's above 12 ounces, it's about five sixty-six bucks. So that is not a fixed cost, but it's an easily predictable cost. And the third thing is platform fees. So the final value fee on eBay, the, the fee that Amazon charges you if you sell something. Those are gonna differ by platform, but generally they're between 15 and 10%. Now, if you sell these things locally on Facebook Marketplace or whatever, you can avoid shipping, you can avoid platform fees, but there is not as much, uh, not as many buyers out there looking for that kind of stuff. So keep in mind that as you avoid fees, as you limit yourself from a larger marketplace, you're gonna have less sales and less profit overall. Okay, now that I've said those important details, let's get in there. We are in May, almost June, and so happy graduation to all you 2020 grads. If you are new to my channel, what I do is show you the completed listings on the right side of the video and then go over them on the left and explain why these are selling. So why are 2020 graduation uh, decorations selling? Because everyone's graduating and what they want is a more convenient way to get their items. You're seeing these banners sell for 10, 11, 12 bucks. Now what if you got the banners, the flag banners, the uh, little things that go in the middle of the tables, all that kind of stuff. What if you bundle those up and then sell them as a lot for 20 bucks, five items. You're looking at like a $15 profit, well a little bit less than that because of shipping, but you get what I'm saying. If you can find ways to make the person's shopping experience more convenient, you're gonna be also finding ways to make more money. That's what we're selling here, the convenience of not having to go to the store yourself. I love these hummingbird feeders because one, they're very light, and two, you can bundle them with a separate product right beneath them. Even, I mean, someone's even doing this on, the, on eBay right now. I haven't checked to see how many people are doing this, but you can go on yourself and look. And I'm not even saying necessarily do this exact bundle, but think of it this way. Someone says they want hummingbirds in their yard. How do you get that? You buy a hummingbird feeder. Okay, I go to eBay, I find the most convenient one, the one that provides the most value in my life. And I say for 15 bucks, yeah, sure, I'll buy that. And then on the other end, on the seller's end, they're making between like four and seven dollars on this. It's simple, it's easy, it's providing value in the form of convenience. And I want everyone to understand that because that's what retail arbitrage is. It's getting people what they want in a much more convenient way than they otherwise would if they were the ones going to the retail store, going to the Dollar Tree. That is retail arbitrage in a nutshell. There are many ways to provide this value. One of them is by divvying up products into smaller packaging, one for affordability, but in this case, more likely, what I'm talking about Cascade Pods, is uh, they want to use them for like an Airbnb they have, they're going on a trip, they have a, uh, an apartment they're renting out, something like that, where the person only needs like four, and they don't want to give them a little Ziploc bag full of ones from their larger bulk packaging. Are there people buying these at Dollar Trees because they only have a dollar? Yeah, sure, certainly. But they're not the ones buying online. So we have to kind of change our mentality from who we see as the typical buyer to who is our ideal buyer, our, um, you know, the most profitable buyer. And in our case, like I said, it's someone who has like four or five Airbnbs. When you look at these, you say, okay, in, in bulk packaging, it's not worth it. But again, the reason you buy a 150 pack of Cascade Pods is not the same reason you buy a four pack of Cascades Pods. And that difference has to be respected. The next one is not worth showing the eBay listing because what you're going to list it as is not the brand name. You're not going to say color easy hair dye. You're going to say single use 
black hair dye or bleach hair dye or whatever the keywords are at the time. This was a big trend during uh, the more intense phases of the lockdown we all have been going through. People want to change their hair, hair salons are closed, so they're buying online. These dollar ones don't have the same um, appeal as like a, a more popular brand name, but they're still selling. And what you saw or what I saw when I looked at these online is that they're selling in packs of like three or four. Um, they weigh like three and a half ounces a piece, I'd guess. So at, at four, you're under a pound still. So you're maximizing profit in regards to shipping. Um, and, I, you know, there's not just three here. There's, there's tons of them stacked back there. So you'd, what you'd want to do, I assume, is buy them all. Um, and then sell them in lots like that, or even just create a listing and then go to the store and buy them when they sell. That isn't the most responsible thing to do, but it's still an option. If I had to pick a product I was most confident in, it'd be this one right here. These LOL Surprise bandages. There's some emoji bandages too, some uh, Jojo Siwa bandages, I believe. She's a Disney character. But the one I am most happy with, most pleased with, most confident in is the LOL Surprise bandages. Not because they're selling extremely fast, but because they're a licensed product. And if you have watched my other videos, those are the ones that sell for the most money because guess what? In four or five months, these might be gone, this particular package of bandages. But are there still going to be kids who won't put a Band-Aid on if it doesn't have their favorite LOL surprise figure face on there? I don't know. Maybe. Let's say it's, it's December, it's Christmas, and the supply chains are four months behind, so there's no Christmas toys. Are we going to have parents buying this stuff for stocking stuffers? I would say so. I would say if you see these, feel confident in buying them, probably more than anything else. All right, we are done, and I feel really good about that haul because a lot of items I showed you are ones you can sell in lots of two or three or four. Most of them weigh under four ounces a piece, so shipping them out, first class mail in a lot of four is going to be very simple. You want to buy a poly mailer or any mailer really that weighs under, you know, an ounce, for example, and put it in there and just ship it out. I have other videos showing how to ship things out, but if you have specific questions, feel free to ask them below. And that goes for anything at all. If you want to know more about Dollar Tree retail arbitrage, which is what we're doing right now. If you want to know more about buying and selling things that aren't from Dollar Trees. If you want to know about how to start your own business, any of that stuff, please ask me. I've been doing this on YouTube for a couple years now, so I have a lot of videos to help you. And if I don't, I can make new ones. That's the whole idea of this, right? See you guys later. Don't be a shithead. Uh, stay out there and make sure that you're making some money because who knows what's going to happen next.